Like it looked amazing. You did like a you pretty did spot on. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So we talked a bit about our values from the discovery chat the other day. So we want to be honest, authenticity, um, you know, ethical practices. We like harmless products and we love people. So that's some of our internal values um, that I think are really cool. Also like the brand spectrum. So we can see overall we're leaning towards the left side, which is like, you know, feminine, simple, um, casual, raw with some texture um, and leaning to a bit of the elegant side as well. I just want to recap quickly on who our target audience is. So our main girl, Sally, um, you know, a young woman. And, um, you know, she struggles with dryness, hair loss, dry scalp, thin hair, all this, all this type of things. Um, and she needs solutions to help fix her hair. And obviously, you know, she has a interesting childhood. We like, like long reading books, hiking, all that type of stuff. Um, so that's like our initial user. And then we've got like Joseph here as well. Um, you know, he's a young male. He wants to grow and be successful. Um, he's working full time. He's also into the dating scene as well, but he also struggles with patching and issues with his beard and balding and things like that, um, which is just cool to recap. So I found one of your images from Instagram and I sort of um, drew some of those colors um, from that. So you can see, um, obviously I haven't received any of the logo files or anything like that. So I typically draw things from like real life images. So you can see some of the greens here and using a secondary color, which is like a nice cream and that brown color for contrast as well. So um, one stylescape is more on the green side and the one is sort of went for the um, relaxing tones. So I'm gonna jump in and go to the first stylescape. But as you can see on the left, you can see you've got Sally there and you can see with the use of you know, the bright um, green colors and elegant typography, it, it comes across as that you know elegant feel but also, you know, with the white space, it helps it feel more premium. You can see an example of like the web page here as the, the use of white space and obviously these secondary gray tones to really let the products shine by themselves. And you can see as I scroll through a bit of texture in the back, this nice sort of like fabric. Um, but I actually got that image from sort of a, a, a plant or mushroom type of organic. So it's sort of like um, adds a little bit of texture in the background there. If I just zoom in, as you can see. And then sort of an example of, a, of how a button can look when they go to purchase. Very clear call to action, very simple um, because a button should be really easy to, to, to notice that it's a button. Um, and then you can see like with the products, you can see it's got a nice vertical height and they're really laid out in a nice simple grin, uh, grid with the text there to help highlight that the product is. Then you can see some examples that I sort of liked of like the imagery um, or photography of like some packaging um, of the stuff. And obviously you guys got labels and things, but really just highlighting the, the product by itself and not having too much around it. Um, yeah. yeah, this is Starscape number one. Went for that minimal, simple feel, um, but adding that uniqueness with that, that nice, bold green color. So it's Starscape number two. So this is Joseph Starscapes. Went for a bit of a, um, also a simple approach, but adding a bit of flavor with some texture and um, mixing up a bit of a color. So adding that brown to it. So you can see Joseph on the left here. And then we go through the typography is a little slightly bit different using a modern font um, that's really geometric. And then accompanying that with um, an elegant header font, as you can see there on the left. Then you can see some of the green tones, bringing those back in. And then, but instead of, of the cream color, adding that brown. So you can see an example of how the web page could look. Um, and obviously like these are images that are curated from the web. So obviously they're pixelated. Um, but you can see here like an example of a buy now button, how that can look, um, you know, keeping that um, very fairly simple. And then you've got like the navigation at the top there. And then as I scroll through, you can see an example of like a business card and just adding some organic elements. So potentially we could have like maybe um, some, you know, leaves or like um, using some, you know, maybe African type of plants in the background or on the side, for like in a mock-up or something. Um, so sort of bringing those in. And then an example of like, um, so I'm using some icons because icons can really help the visual style, especially um, if it's in the navigation or to, you know, go to a certain page, then simple icons like that help tie it all together. Um, but overall, I feel like this is uh, one direction that we could head in as well. So that's Starscape 2. And then you can see them next to each other. So overall, as we mentioned, you know, from the discovery, you, you, 
things that you know you want it to be you know simple um you know easy to to go through easy to find things um and you know easy to buy it as well and obviously having a bit of excitement you know and i've sort of added that through the textures and the colors um but yeah those are the two scar safes and that's pretty much it um so yeah happy to um hear some feedback um it'll be the the biggest thing is like it would be great if you can just pick one and focus on that but if there's elements of one of the uh like on the second one or the first one that you like then what i what we can do is sort of um do a revision if we need to and sort of uh, um bring those elements together and sort of um join them um but if there's some elements that you'd like that stand out to you and if there's some that aren't then we can talk through that i personally love the first one mm. but i love the texture on the second so like if we if we had the first with a little bit more texture like the leaf yeah like how the second one has like the leaves and stuff mm. like that yeah i think it will make the perfect. first one perfect yeah i agree like i like how on the second one we have like even just the leaves there and just the leaf in the background i love the green in the first one yeah. so maybe if we can implement you know how it's got like that leaf sort of fading off in the background where yeah. joseph is yeah i think that would make it perfect as well so i agree with viola i think like the first one represents our brand more and what we're looking for in terms of the colors the simplicity even the way the products stick out that's just it and then the second one the texture as well is what we want mm. the first one to have and i love how you've got the texture there as well in the first one so a little bit more of that would be great like it looks amazing you did like a you pretty did spot on like yeah. <laughs> <laughs> of getting the colors and like the theme and that's the exact thing like <laughs> i really so- wow that's awesome <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's great. And and that's why I feel like it's good to do a discovery because we go through that process so I can actually hear what you what you actually need and like you know what I mean? Yeah. And it helps it helps the whole process and I feel like yeah, that's really good to hear. Thank you. That I think that's really great. I wasn't expecting it to look this nice. Like I was <laughs> like it's a first draft like maybe. Yeah. <laughs> it's really good. 